please tell us your name, age, and where you live. I'm, I, my name is Betty. I'm 64 years old and I live in Green Lake. And what were you diagnosed with and experiencing before starting the neuropathy program? I was diagnosed with a neuropathy and also um, I had Lyme disease, which may be attributed to the neuropathy because I was limited on my ability to get around well. So I'm guessing that contributed to having neuropathy. And what was the hope that was provided to you with your regular medical care about your neuropathy symptoms? I hadn't seen anybody else. Okay. This is the first place I came to. Um, did you try anything else that didn't work for you? Um, I was being treated for Lyme disease and I kind of thought they were all connected in some way, but um, I don't believe they, they were. They, Lyme disease contributed to it, but it became its own thing. And I believe I had to have different treatments for, for that specific, something that would focus more on the neuropathy. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling so much better, more energetic, more stamina. I can do a lot more during the day. Um, I'm not as tired as I used to be. I accomplished a, quite a bit more, more confidence. I lost a lot of confidence when you're not feeling the ability to do things physically. You tend to lose confidence and I, I got, I gained a lot of that back. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to hear. Three wonderfuls. Um, so how would you say the quality of your life has changed since starting the neuropathy program? I can be involved in more activities. I'm not left just sitting home and doing the bare minimum of just getting ready for the day and, um, just doing things that, you know, I can do more fun activities outside the home, things I couldn't do before. Um, I have goals and plans that I'll be able to walk more farther distances around my property, get down walking back in the backfield, something I haven't done in a few years. Um, I'm working up towards that. And I can, I can see that a very possible goal for this fall. Wonderful. When you first started, your goal, your biggest goal was being able to maintain and stay at your house. Right. How do you feel about that right now? I feel much better about it. I, I have plans next year that I'll do things. I, I'm kind of missing out on this summer, but next summer, um, more working on fall, my flower bed and doing things that I haven't been able to do in years. I know I'll be able to accomplish a lot more around my property than what I've been able to do. More walks in the backfield, which is why I live out in the country. Things I haven't been able to do. That you enjoy. I enjoy it so much, yeah. Good. Uh, what would you say to anyone who's currently watching this video that's skeptical about the neuropathy program or undecided? I would say it's it's always a chance to take in anything with medicine or, and science, whatever. Um, you want to take a chance on something. You never know what the outcome is going to be until you give it a try. Um, I never expected to be where I'm at now. It's far exceeded my expectations and my hopes. I'm just, I'm just pleased and I'm still curious to see how far I can take this. So it's a journey. It's not something that happens overnight, but it's happened pretty quick for me, much faster than I expected that it would, how quickly and that I'm getting improvements, seeing improvements on a weekly basis, if daily. One, one session has changed so many things for me. And then we work on one area and then that area improves and then there's another area that I work on and it, it just keep snowballing that pretty soon your one thing after another is getting resolved and life is so much more improved. Love it. Love hearing that. Um, now that you've experienced the neuropathy program here at Physical Achievement Center, how would you describe it to your best friend or a family member? Um, it's, it's one of the best things that I've done for my own health. It's um, working with a team of people that understand my situation better than I've understood it myself. Sometimes people don't understand what you're dealing with and what you're going through, um, obviously, because they don't live it. And you don't even understand what's all happening. I'm not always sure what my problems are associated with. I have different things going on. So what's neuropathy? What's the Lyme disease? What's, you know, other things, ailments that I've been diagnosed with? Um, they have people that understand it and can break, break it out and talk about what's happening with you. 
um, and fix each problem separately and not just, we're not just trying to fix one thing, we're fixing multiple things. And that's where I see the improvement. If you just fix one thing, you're not going to improve. You need to fix multiple things that are all interrelated with one another. I love it. Um, how long did it take you to sign up for this program, would you say? I, If I remember right, it was several weeks. I, had the, I really sat and thought about it. But I was at a point that um, I wasn't getting, I wasn't living a full life that I wanted to. And it's like, what do I got to lose? You know, mm -hmm. if you don't have what you need to be happy in life, um, you'll do whatever it takes to get to that point. It's a lot, of, it's some work. I have things I need to do at home, this dedication to come to the appointments. Um, but I have never regretted a minute of it. It's so fulfilling. I feel a much better person and just getting back some confidence. I've lost a lot of confidence in my ability to do things, and I have people here that are challenging me. I've never had people doing that in a long time, and they believe in you and they challenge you, which is what helps you be able to take these challenges on and move forward and be a more active person in your life, doing things that you, you haven't done in a few years. It's, it's awesome to be able to get back to that point. Wonderful. I love, thank you for sharing your story. I love hearing it. I love to see the improvement that you've made so far and can't wait to see what else the future and treatments have, have in store for you, Betty. Okay, thank you.